Welcome to the AI Preview Show. Check Bet is back with another video. It's not about Shima Shine. It's not about the Easter Cup, but it's about A10s at Crayford. Check it out and see what you think. So just, just following on from yesterday's video, you know, we're straight talking and talking about the darker arts of the sport, if you like, like going biases. Here's another one. Um, tonight's Racing Post TV card, bad cards, you know. Similar again to surface issues. Let's let's deal with it. Let's try and take advantage of it from uh, from punting or you know whatever way we can. I mean, granted, I totally get what the the purists want. You know, Saturday night they want the best racing on and they just want to watch. It's not always about betting. I've you know I've really got sympathy for them as well. It is so short sighted by the sport that many of the top owners they they won't watch this tonight. Absolutely can assure you of that. Um what you got to worry about is what's fueling their desire to continue that's you know that's what i'm worried about i mean all right it's not not my position i'm not employed by the industry for solutions and good ideas so we'll leave that in their capable hands as well um so anyway you know back on point bad cards what are we doing well again trying to put a nice spin on it it I, you know it's not the fault of the dogs that's for sure or the trainers um or or even racing post tv or you know arc it's, i doubt they have much say what's laid on um i mean i don't think the bookies really care about the sport anymore the racing office is this saturday night the lowest funded meeting of the week it looks like it i mean we we, we haven't got grassroots tracks anymore because these dogs would never have run at Crayford a decade ago so we're sort of having a let's call it a grassroots night you know um, now it's on TV it's dog bingo anyone watching this is dog bingo um, and I'm sure it'll be the, the same old pundits from far and wide just offering up you know numbers that'll win Gra granted we can't have the night of stars every Saturday you know that'd, that'd be stupid of us to talk but I don't like all the turd polishing people are on about pub, um, promoting the sport look you can only promote what's good I mean you're not, we're not all Boris Johnson are we you know it's you know I, I think it's offending people um are you trying to appeal to newbies I, I don't get it i think people should you should be looking after people already in the sport you know so sort of content on across all platforms you know i don't want to pick on anyone it's poor it's it's beneath a lot of the, the people you know they, we're talking about people that know more than the people on telly they're trying to t it, it, it i don't know we let's let's not really go that way um i just believe there's more truth in comfort you know, um, sorry there's more comfort in truth you know um, I, I think people can deal with it more you know whereas the, the you get more angry if people lie to you and tell you how things how things are not so oh well well you know when you got these bad cards I look at it in a various way that winning on a card like this might not necessarily mean that you're you're earning chunks on the like you would on the on the good cards the real juicy cards um, you've got to go in the, with the right mindset. Um, what you got, you, you got to start taking positives immediately. No one's going to be on a watching this. No one is just going to sit there and watch this. So you get a gold star just for tuning in live. Um, yeah, I mean we can all get videos and you know watch it down the line. But when you're watching a meeting live, you're picking up much more information. You're looking at any in running track movements. If there is any bias in the ground, they might be trying to turn it. You 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 get that. Um, You'll, you'll be drawn to attention of any bets on exchanges that might lose so you wouldn't you wouldn't remember that it's you know there's a lot of form building that can be done on this and it's worth worth its weight in gold so you'll get paid for the effort down the line um you know something you pick up tonight will come up trumps for you down the line um other points of course still volatile time of year might be a ground problem tonight um i haven't watched the morning yet the morning's just about to go off so i'm gonna have got that on record and be watching that all morning um so there could be something you could take advantage of there now also this card lots of bad favorites dodges you know um plenty of dogs that just don't want to win you know trust them to do to do that in uh, uh, certainly the shorter ones anyway you've got place up bets exotic type bets of forecast dry cars you know um i mean bookies aren't aren't taking bets we all know that but it's a sort of card where you can get a lot of buttons down you know high volume of bets and that, that looks good you know going forward that actually looks pretty good win or lose um so i mean the key is don't do your brains park the bus neil neil is a solid result here you know for, for your sanity 
your psychology, it it's good even earning buttons it it'll feel tenfold because it's such a you know, such a rubbishy card. Um so yeah, just just off those, um I'll i go through a few races and just give you uh you know some pointers. I've got a few glitches in the system, this'll make you laugh. I've had an update overnight. European whippets have gone in there, so <laughs> if it runs a bit slower, a video don't come up, you're gonna know why. So first race as always, you've got to look. Um I'm not gonna spend too long on this because for obvious reasons. Now Meridian Ziggy's short in the in the paper I saw. Um and it will it will be short because this is the as there's barrel scrapers you're gonna get. Again, don't want to offend any of the dogs, but this is where we're at. We've got to deal with what we've uh, what we've got in front of us. Now Meridian Ziggy, it's it's just not a good dog. Um can it win? Sure it can win. It's it's they're trying to get it to win. That's why it's gonna be priced accordingly because they're just trying to get it win. What worried me though was was this run. Now back in February, I've already talked about the massive biases. This was one of the biggest days where it was absolutely mental rails. It was the probably one of the biggest of the year so far. Now it's in trap two. Now let's take into account what I'm always talking about with the ground. You couldn't give this dog more that day. It's had the ground. It, this is the best it could do. On the best ground, this is the best it could do. Now it is young and it's still got scope, or oh, granted. But I'm not sure it was really getting on with it. I mean, look who it's running against. Um, sort of Romeo, it's five, yeah, he's five years old. And a more of a front runner and kinky. So it was refusing to go past him. Anything with a little bit more, um, you know, a bit more clout about it would have gone past. So he's done 24, you know, what, what they give him there? 24.56 they've given him on a mega rails track and he's in front. This dog ain't going to take a lot of beating. Like, you know, like I say, May 19, can't be too harsh, but what can beat it? Now, I watched Skidor in, um, I watched Skidor's trial. And uh, again, youngster, I looked at Katunda Chris, it's got a couple of siblings that are already running in, no well beaters again. You know, th this is this is where we're going. These are, for the for the purist, this, uh, this just look away already. Um, but Skidor, run okay, plodded round, didn't move off at the bends and just did its running. Now I made that trial session um, middle to wide and I actually run on the same day, um, same meeting before the meeting as uh, as Ziggy as well. So Ziggy, they've, they've been, again, they've been generous. Middle one bump start, crowd of three. I'm not gonna go into that video now, but it didn't really get done. So Ziggy's gonna be 24.50 off the front. Now what could do 24.50 coming off the bat? Well. I mean, DC's Venus, two wins out of 56. It's one of Dean Giles, just kennel fillers. Um, Kelvin Charlotte, ditto really with, with uh, Jim Daly. Um, again, no well beater. I'm, I'm not really gonna put them out of this because first race, you don't know what the ground's gonna be straight away, but would they go against Meridian Ziggy? No, I think they're all trying to get it to win. So I don't think they're gonna be scared if he wins at even money, but would you wanna lay him at evens? Mm, it'll probably, yeah. Cool. I would, I'd just take a chance. I don't care if he wins five lengths, I'd still, I'd, I don't think the dog really wants to win. I don't think the dog's got much ability as well. Um, if it wins, good luck to it. I hope it does win in, in some sense, if I'm not betting. The only thing that really um, got me was top star Lassie. Again, no world beat uh, sisters in the following race in an AA. It's got poor formula card. One brother's A1 at Monmore, which is, is pretty decent. Um, Kennel's running okay. Now she moves off the bend, seriously moves off the bend. We watch, we watch one of her runs, but I, I did watch a couple of these um, late last night. And I'm thinking, well, is she, um, is she bottling it? Or is she actually, you know, having having trouble? Um, sorry, let me go first. And there was some matches as well. That There's not a lot of difference between the early of, of um, of two and four but just watch her here it's now what i look at here is we've got sheba's moonlight in the race she was again career a nine and ten but she hasn't led up so she's she's still pretty game but look that she you know again it, i don't think she I couldn't really blame her for moving off there but 
Then she's paced up coming in. You think, well, if she took the bend, she'd go around, she'd be in front of Shuba's Moonlight there. And then you're starting to look at, all right, she'd be doing 2450s off the back. Now, we're talking about 2450 winning this off the front. So you can visualize, um, you know, you can half visualize that what she would do off the front. She would, I think she paces up and turns left. You know, actually turns left or just takes one step right. Um, you know, could see it, could see a, a, could see that bitch finally turn up. Again, not going to be any world beater, but if I had to pick something in the race, I'd be looking at four just on the basis that not much to lead in Skidor. Two is what it is. It's just take it or leave it. Um, Kelly Charlotte and DC Venus, just career, career graders. Again, they are what they are. So, Top Star Lassie is really my only choice that I could take against Meridian Z but again I don't want to I don't want to play this because um un unless something comes to me I'm sitting there I'm not bothered I don't need to bet I'll wait if the bet comes I'm ready to go but you know I don't, I don't have to be proactive in a race like this I just have to have my initial um plays ready on what I'll pounce on if something comes up and you almost take a chance anything in the first especially at Crayford take a chance anything Second race, again, not particularly a play race, but great acid test because Top Star Rose, that's the uh, little sister of the four in the in the first. Not in weeks out of season. I did check the four in the first. I don't think the season date collaborates that they're the same. But this bit does look better there anyway from trials when they trialled in and things like that. So, yeah, you know where you're at with her. I fully expect her to um, be around 24 seconds off the front, um, which might, might be good enough. Um, Mongi's just... I don't like relying on Mongies. I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the run against Rarity. It was quite poor. Let's just actually watch that because this sort of sums this bitch up. You know, she stays but flatters. Is You know, can she win course again? You know, <laughs> let's get with the attitude right. Um, but if the rail won't go particularly well, I don't think it takes much for her not to win. I think she's won a lot of races, but certainly not a dodge or anything like that. But look where she's turned. She turns up the inside of uh, Rarity. Now, yeah, all right. A tiny little connection. Look how much ground she... Unbalanced, you know, little bit... Yeah, lost again. Lost. You know, it's the type of bits that... She's not big, but... A couple of strides and she loses bundles. You know, the... the, the you know, you think about the, the best dogs that they could lose a couple of strides in running and they barely lose half a length. You know, that's the type of bit. She loses a quarter of a stride and she loses three lengths in running. So... Great acid test though. I really want to watch that. It's not about. Didn't even take part last time. Some of these, I, I actually haven't gone through all the going allowances because I think it's similar to what I said with Yarmouth. There, where it's gone a bit middle to wide, I think they give favourable going allowances to make the insides look good because there's no way in a middle, no way in a million years that um, Zana Bell has done twenty four forty nine last run. It will look more like a twenty five forty nine. So that second of March, it's um, it's a funny day. I'll I'll be going back through that when I finish the the morning bags and got myself up together so good race just as a as a benchmark again I uh, should say Wood, Woodcox Elliot not the class but has got form leading up red so you know I'm looking at a few things there now this was the first race where I thought this if they're going to promote anything on TV this is a great race to promote because it's good fun because you've got you've got Longvale Prince in it now Longvale Prince he's well I've just seen look he's gone over the hurdles for a hand slip could straighten him out could straighten him out but again he's going to be going off short purely because he's arguably the fastest dog in the race if he wants to be but this is a this is a, a brilliant dodge because he's not nasty but he's hanging he's hanging he's hanging he's, he's one of them i mean down the card we go petrify um is is what she is don't win that often a uh, bit paceless but comes home so i mean if the rail was alive and the track was a bit slow You've got to give her. You've got to give uh, Petrify a chance because Longval Prince could slow this race to a standstill. So, um, you know, been over the five forty trip. Obviously, getting a bit done there, but against the ground. So, gonna gonna give her. You know, she's certainly a player here. Certainly a player. Penny Sundu, bang. It, um, same kennel, Pilgrim Kennel again, but second of March again. No way. That's plus thirty for the rails because. If that's done twenty four fifty one, gee, I could do twenty three ninety nine. That you know, in trap six that night myself, um, it doesn't look right. 
old dog um, likes his likes two. He's got a good stat in two, and I mean he'd be he is kinky as hell, but he'd be far too good for these. You know, going even going back um, probably the tail end of last year. I, he's the type of thing I'll keep an eye on because yeah, you know, like one and four is going to be so short. Penny Shandu, how it ran last time. I mean, this is where this is where you're you've got to overcome your eyes. I watch that and I'm look how I'm talking. You know, and I'm trying to be as balanced and open minded as I can. I can't believe it's done that time. But if that if that's going off twenties, I'm not I'm not worried about having twenty, thirty quid on it, twenties. Do you see what I mean? Like, you know, and just sit back and watch the race and let it happen. If it if it tails off crippled again, am I wrong? No, I'm right, because I know what that dog's got in the tank. Can it turn it around in four days? Highly unlikely. But what I'm just saying is that's my attitude. I'd just you know, there'll be something go wrong on an exchange or, you know, that sort of thing. Press a bet out of look at the breeding. Bally McVigan Forest Twilight, Oaks winner, one of the best Oaks winners of, of years gone by. Is in it strange how sometimes you see uh, real brilliant Oaks winners like Sylvia Perky. Um, you know, brilliant, brilliant bitches, but didn't um didn't throw. Yet some of their siblings did. Um it happens a lot, but it's it's funny seeing that in an AA, isn't it? It's quite quite bizarre. Um, yeah, moves off. Nothing really to offer, in my opinion, other than the outstanding bloodlines. But you know, ain't got much to lead into. Ain't got much room. But Long Long Vale Prince will bully the hell out of these two bitches. Got either side of him. I mean, Lajal uh, Lajal Dazzle. Now, this is quite interesting. Something that I look at, and again, that goes over. Will definitely go over. Missed anyone not doing the donkey work. Now. I've put a season date in. I've put in a third rate season date. I think you might have seen me before. I've got three levels that I put in. One I know. Two, I'm having a guess that I'm within a fortnight. Three is a guess. Is a total guess that could be come over from Ireland or it's been injured, and I'm just guessing it. But I need to know it. Now, it is would be quite relevant. So again, I haven't deleted it yet because okay, look, she only had like near on a month off. Um, they do do that that does happen you know to get them back on the car and get the runs then she had a spell where she was really running against the ground that was that was back again back in uh, January look when it was back rails middle to rails so she started coming alive so she was doing 24 30s not leading and on bad ground so you know what the bitch is capable of she might have enjoyed that rest and that trial back was pretty good trial okay I'll give the going out slightly different 24 20 but you know that she she could find a lot and she's going to edge left as well it's just if she if she can't clear long rail prince he's going to pester the hell out of her but in pestering her he's slowing the race up for petrify so you've either got lajar dazzle to smash break and clear long rail prince i think he's still got her measure to get to her and, and bob about but again if he's getting there by the third bend's bobbing around again petrifies a runner again if the rail's okay so that's a that's an interesting race you know that's one they they could go to town on um on tv because people will be quite impressed by what what they're saying is likely to happen because long Vale prince is reliable he's reliable to do what he's going to do um petrify is going to be coming off the back you you've made the race for a spectacle you know that could be a cat one final if you renamed them all um i don't know who would be who there but <laughs> you know what I mean DC's Mars yeah another one of Dean Charles just okay you know he does win he plods round he, he would be relevant if the, the wide came in uh, but again he's, he's quite kinky himself this race if the rail was dead this race has got like a short winning distance sort of thing all over it um, but you could be clever here and try and try and get the lot again Penny Sunju that's a lot to overcome your eyes um you're going to have to wash your eyes out 20 times after watching that last run to think that that was any kind of run. No one's going to want about that. That's going to be fifth or that's going to be fifth or sixth in. Even the fact that it's well, this is the lowest it's been nearly its whole career. It's a shame to see when they like that because I've, that's a, that used to be a real good dog for placing up and forecast and tricast. But you know that's a good that is a race where you know someone at home you could if your mate was watching it with you you could sort of impress them a little bit and that this is what i think they need to do on tv again not my job to tell them they uh, can can do what they like now um like i say there's a few races there not really interesting that's a good race again not a good race because it's a good race it's an 8 10 count mugger five wins out of 63 uh, <laughs> this is this is a race but and they'd be too short 
because um, Monteen Bentley raving, absolutely first class raving. Um, again, another good forecast place up dog back at a big price. Love him. Um, Count Muggers run against the ground. Um, definitely don't want to win. 100% don't want to win. Seen it refused more than more than a couple of times. Has got a run against uh, Monteen Bentley, but it's back in December. So I know they're old. It's um, but it's not totally relevant. But it is worth a watch because Mugger's definitely got the uh, got the beating of it. But these dogs go in and out of form, you know. Yeah, and and also two's edging off a little bit as well, and edges off there or something. Somewhere wrong with him, but um, Cat Mugger's plotted right up there, and. Uh, you know, like I say, it has run against the ground. I mean, this one where it ran against DG Yellow, that was favouring the inside that day. But look, it refused. It, well, let's watch that race because... I mean, if, if Red was going off a price, it's one of them. I'd love to be able to play it first three plays and back it. And just get the first three plays. And if it cops, you get the lot. If it don't, you've got your money back. It's one of them. It's If it was a horse, it'd be a proper each way, you know. But look here, it goes round beyond the two. I think I played the cast that day. Yeah, there was a lot of twos and ones that day. Now it's all over too. It's got its beating, but it it don't want to go past. You can see it just just very content. Say, look, it's got it beaten again. It's all over it. It's just running into its tail all the time. Comes out wide. Okay, by then it's done its running sort of thing. But for me, you know, you know, this is our bread and butter. We watch those dogs all day. You just got to be be confident enough that that dog's going to do what it's supposed to do. I just think that. You, you might it might perk it up it, look, on the evening it's won 2 out of 41 it's, it's a professional loser but you know you hear people say oh you know you, you don't want to be on the bad dogs when you're on the bad dogs you get paid you can get paid you know you will this what's the point of being on the good dogs all the time everyone wants to be on the good dogs start focusing on the bad dogs you know I've seen even dogs with niggles and lame, lame dogs win you know it does happen so you've got to get over that barrier you know it's it's there's no good relying on these if they're short prices you've got you know you know what they're going to do so don't come crying if they get beaten photos but you know you're looking that way now the the only thing you'd fancy with with mugger and these sort of dodge pots like this they're chasing 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 but they're not fighters so if they hit the running at the right time with something that's just fell in a hole they will just go past to win on default that's the only way you get them to win you won't get in the win by um, you know, on their own merits and their own skill set, they'll they win from default. We well, got dogs like look who's in the race, um, Dubry, little bitch. Again, not a prolific winner, um, but it's got a bit of early. Could lead up the races at a standstill off the last. DC Gem, um, young one of Dean Charles, but hasn't really been doing it. Looks more off the front. Um, might might be short and make a make a market. You never know with that because it has got leadability claims again. Personally, I would hope. Juby leads up the four. Pips Paradise, one win out of twenty-five. Another one, you know, cracking, cracking stuff. Um, best run it did, twenty-four thirty-two. Edge a little bit left, and then come off wide again. So doesn't run a productive line. That's probably going to hamper it as well. So the only one we left with is Cully Magic. Thirteen weeks out of season, and it's been given. Um, now it did run against Mon Mona Team Bentley. Let's watch that because it was in the same traps, two and six. Now this six is going to have liked the time off, in my opinion. You know, just as a, just as a guess because of the time she is it's out of season. So watching six and two. I mean, different league, different league of speed. And you imagine if six goes round, yeah, obviously taken out and two's gone at the inside and it's game over because six has got a lead. It's a it's an ex sprinter from Central Park, I think. Obviously, speed down the back two's taken off because he's going absolutely ballistic to try and chase red. Um, bullies his way past he's almost looking isn't he? he's almost looking again so you know what he's going to do I mean Ronatine Bentley if he was chasing a fast dog he'd probably do 2370 uh, he's a co comedy dog even round to the droplet and obviously he's against Best Bear there um, Best Bear yeah sort of look it's got to come again 2420s you know where you're at I mean if six smashes out and goes round in front and the ground's suiting it again that's going to be on everyone's judgement um, what has it got in the past? It's got 2420s. Thing is, the six, you know, at a price, six, smash break, go around in front and hope that two makes a right meal, you know, moves off the bend, rates some right meal going past it. Six, just slip away. 
But then, this is the this is the things I'm looking for. If you fancy six to win, you're only going to get two trios possible. You're going to get six one two or six two one because the others don't really want to be involved, you know. So the the others have got a lead up. Possibly five haven't got a lead up and would chase as well, but it's not doing much running in behind. It's certainly not to the level of one and two. So I'll be looking at. I might look. That's the sort of race where you you could get a bit exotic and go well look six, but don't be lazy and just think oh I will take six to smash out and lead. You, you got to you got to get the lot. If I fancy six to smash out and lead and it's a price, I'm going to play six two six one six one two six two one because that's the read of the race. If six don't clear them at the bend and three goes three goes up, it's got one and two written all over it. But that's going to be priced accordingly because you know two's going to go short. Add it add it to the list like two in the first. I mean this this is Saturday night racing where. Wow, look at it. You know, you, you could be back in six to four shots in A10s that don't want to win, you know. Um, so, you know, but that's an interesting race. That's an interesting race for anyone who's watching and just want to, you know, have a look, test test out these theories on these type of dodge pots. Um, got to look at the E1 because it's the best race of the night. Not going to go too mental on the videos, but I'll tell you what I've, I'll, I'll tell you what I like here. I mean, Rising Coco is going to go off short, rightly so. Won a long way last week. If you if you let her get off loose, she's going to going to tear away and do do a proper times. But I do like Drew Zenya because all right, she's got beat five lengths by Coco last week, and most people will go, oh, you know, no, she can't turn that around. Well, hang on just a minute, because there was a vacant trap in four that day, um, so Coco's got a bang up lead. Coco hasn't always led a mother's love. Um, so it's not impossible that a mother's love could lead up. It's not actually impossible six could lead up. Everyone's going to go, well, you know, you're asking a lot there. Well, well, am I? Because if you look at Droopy Zenya, um, I, lo I love this bit. She does a big turn on Racing Post TV back in, um, when was it? Yeah, back then. Deadly Blue. Yeah, we were backing her at a massive, I think we were backing her at like eights that night. I'm pretty sure of it. Was it Racing Post TV night? Yeah, it was. Um, me and my mate because I'm sure the season date was actually given in late late 2019 I'm sure she was like August, September something like that and we were following her season we made her season ripe and sure enough yeah she she got a couple of big wins on the on the card at 16, 17 weeks which would be about the same sort of time as now granted she was younger so they, they you know and the stayers now she's probably going to be 18, 19 weeks so we're probably looking two, three weeks till she's bang on but look she's had six runs and you go with the old wives tale six runs back you know uh, six, seven runs back that's when they're finding their feet um, she's had six races and trials trials were against the ground so yeah look don't be surprised this is how you get these turnarounds you know they are animal machines we know that but Jim Reynolds had two in the race there. Was it punted? I mean, he, they were a punting kennel. Maybe they, they had a go that night. I don't know. It had a better draw when four was withdrawn or taken out. I can't actually remember. But Drew Bizenia, if the ground was was okay wide, it wouldn't put me off. If Rising Coco was going off even money and Drew Bizenia was going off nine to two, I've got a back six because she she was a better bitch. And I'll just take the chance on the, that I've got the season date maybe right. And I'll be looking at the weight sheet tonight as well because I want to just up a little bit. But, you know, that could be a bit of a bounce run. Um, first run over the trip. Yeah, it was a week. No, I, I'm, I'm certainly certainly not going to not gonna pack up on her. The last thing I'll leave you with, sort of in the tone of the evening, um, was this race. That, you know, it goes back to like Walthamstow days. I want to be third in. I don't want to... You do, on the top dog, you're not getting much you you know you're gonna have a lot of winners but you you might not show a lot of profit um because it's it's condensed so well even on the second one when you get strong markets now i don't think there's gonna be a lot around tonight back in these but there's always people wanting a bit two flies up a wall you know there's always someone five season short yeah she's young um did it uh, led up the led up the other day but at the ground so nothing really for me to like about that personally just yet uh, can she win? Sure, she can win. Obviously, she smash out and go around in front, and that might be enough in this sort of race. Um, six again, probably had the ground on its side a little bit more. Nothing really to say about the dog. Four smashed out, bang, done it all, um, perfect last time. Can it lead up five? Possibly unlikely. Uh, Ladger or Rob plods round, plods round, plods round. Pucker any time. They've been smashing the death out of it. I think it'd be the same again. Kennel's not running well. Off that, there you go. There's the first glitch off my uh, the whippets problem. Got a problem with the uh, trainer stats. Don't think the dogs have been running well this week. Turn the kennel. So 
yeah okay run against the ground last time um, got picked up by the three um, the one the four pucker any time smash out in front off the front 24 seconds is that enough it should be but here's the one I'm going to throw in uh, Trapper Jane now you normally get any price you want this bitch because she's a bad bitch again bad dogs you'll get paid on when you when you see it right now what I like about her is look, watch two and three here this is her against Lajar Rob okay it was back last year but just want to see their lines um, yeah see look she moves us so she's not bang round so you, you wouldn't have to worry about her too much if the rail was was dead. She's going to take that lane two or three just off the rail. Obviously, uh, the pucker dog you'd be be worried about, but but she you know she's checked up there. She's she's messy. Don't worry about that. Uh, one win out of twenty two on the evening. Three wins out of thirty. She's a one in ten bitch, but you're generally getting ten to one. You see what I mean? You're getting ten to one most of the races. Now, you know Pinking's running well. She only got beat by Pinking. Uh, Pinky's been winning, yeah, he's been doing, he's done 23.80 that night, actually, yeah, so, and that was against the ground, so she's running, you know, where it was, fancy, when it was the middle to rail sort of days, Pinky's doing well, she's had trouble in racing, she's still being able to post 24 seconds, I mean, the day she won, uh, it was a slow day, so it did suit her, because they were all, all the fronties were getting caught by the third bend, and anything that stayed was just winning, so yeah, you won't see her often win three lengths, but there was a reason for that the the, the ground was in her favor i don't think it's gonna be slow tonight because they the, they've been given the going allowances as fast all week but just that is exhibit a of knowing where you're at the um yeah five could be short because of uh the ability claims one is just always short and underpriced and yeah it could go around in front but if one leads up you're going to need a sledgehammer to keep two out. She's going to have to literally run into three dogs to be out the first three. So I don't think it's going to be much use in playing one, two, but never know at that time of night. And if it is wide, people might be put off and start backing the wides and you, you might get a bit of juice in that. That's the type of race where I'd look for a real... That's the only sort of haymaker of the night where if I could back her at 10s, double figures, 15s, you know, this was going off 20s the other day. Um, you know what you're getting. Again, not going to cry about it. But if I, could, if I could have that race every day, I'd always be in front. So that's the way to look at it. Because back in pig like that, one in ten, you only need to be right one in ten. Problem when you're back in something like one and five, you need to be right six in ten. You, your, your stroke ratio's got to be so high, your betting's got to be so perfect. Yeah, so I can, I can throw away money on trap two. Great bet. Gets beat, runs into five dogs. I'll get that chance again. And I'll keep getting it. And I'll be getting bonkers, bonkers prices. That's what I do at each track. I'll have that style of bad dog. I can afford to. Do, I can afford to keep doing it. I'm staking right. I've got a big pot. I can just do what I want. And that's what I'm looking at. You know these these bad ones because the way I see it, they're unfashionable. No one wants to be. No one wants to be with them. The ones that do, they might pump wrong and they'll get fed up. And you know that that's just part of a part of the way I play. So I'm looking on that race. I really am thinking bonkers price two to two to win place up to probably cover the win uh and, and going you know again i'm gonna see what the ground by then but also two to collar one two one three two three because you get bonkers price and three all sorts I, I love the race that's the my favorite race of the night so sort of says it all doesn't it <laughs> the um you know an a8 with a bitch that was won one out of 22 times on the evening is the thing I'm getting excited about. Yeah, maybe, maybe on a sadist. There you go. But anyway, there you go. Um, Adapt or die is one of them One of them sort of cards, isn't it? So good luck with everyone today. Um, and there's good racing in Australia as well going on now. So I'm off. Ciao. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And we look forward to getting check bet on the AI preview show in the near future.